Hi, I'm the Artie Dance, and welcome to this review of the Chinese courtroom thriller, Remain Silent. This is the type of movie I've wanted to see for a long time. A Chinese movie that's well paced, well written, and well acted. This is an all-round excellent thriller that showcases the talents of everyone involved. So without holding back for much longer, let's have a look at why Remain Silent is a must-watch movie. A famous singer, Wang Fan Wan, is found stabbed in her dressing room. A young man runs from the scene and is chased by security and police. Professing his innocence, he plunges into the waters of Victoria Harbour in Hong Kong. A top defence attorney from Beijing is hired to defend the man, Jimmy Thomas, from being prosecuted of attempted murder, which carries a life sentence of prison in Hong Kong. As the thrilling court case plays out, we discover the young man is Wing Fang's long-abandoned son hoping to rekindle their relationship. But this case isn't as simple as it seems, and as both defence and prosecution lawyers discover, there's far more to this case than they can ever hope to uncover. <laughs> Jimmy Thomas. In a rare occurrence for Chinese cinema, the audience is witness to a solid, believable and well-written story that doesn't diverge into the ridiculous or obtuse. There is no gaping plot holes, everything is thought out and well explained, even if the final reveal is just slightly a little far-fetched. To help sell this vision, a few big-name Chinese and Hong Kong actors have been brought in and they each do a fantastic job. Without a doubt, the highlight of the movie are the dual role performances by Shun Zhao, who plays the defense attorney Duan Mulan and the singer Wang Fan Wan. She brings energy to both roles, as the hardened attorney who fights to ensure the police do their job correctly, and as the wispy but talented cabaret singer turned big star who must abandon her young son in order to achieve fame. She may not be an immediately likable character, and it's questionable whether you'll have any pity for her at all but it doesn't stop you from enjoying Shun Zhao's performance. <laughs> Balancing out the movie is Hong Kong actor Francis Ng, taking on the role of the prosecutor Zheng Wei Wu. He's been around for decades, but audiences might remember him more fondly from his recent hits including Infernal Affairs 2, The Last Tycoon, and The House That Never Dies. Zheng Wei is your typical public prosecutor, determined to convict the accused with the meager evidence at his disposal. What's interesting about his character is the interaction with Duan Mulan, as they have a strong history together and coincidentally share memories about their relationship that are based on the victim. Even though this is a Chinese production, a bulk of the movie is set in Hong Kong, with only the bookend set in the mainland. This has allowed the film to use the Hong Kong legal system as its device, and leads the audience to ask a simple, yet curious question. What is the reasoning behind this? With Hong Kong and China having very different legal systems and processes, you'd think the Chinese authorities wouldn't be too eager to highlight the Hong Kong rule, the cynic in me wonders if this is a well-timed propaganda piece considering all the turmoil occurring in Hong Kong at the moment of late 2019, three months since the release of the film in its homeland. But then, maybe I'm reading a little bit too much into something that isn't there. The final reveal of the movie is perhaps the only slight letdown, feeling at times oddly rushed and at other times too coincidental. The flashback scenes to the orphanage help fill in the gaps for the audience, but they come at the expense of making things a little too convenient. You'll know what I mean once you watch the film, 
but suffice to say it doesn't take away anything from the previous 90 minutes you've watched and the tension, drama and mystery that's been built up. If you are like me and think it's impossible for the Chinese to write a thriller that makes sense and is enjoyable to watch, then I think you'll be surprised by what this movie has to offer you. Have you seen Remain Silent? Let me know what you thought of it in the comments and if you agree or disagree with my review. Thank you for watching this review. Your support is helping channels like mine grow. Don't forget to like and subscribe, even if you didn't like the movie, and check out my other videos. You can also follow my reviews on Reddit at the Sub Asian Film Fans and at www.theartydance.com.